Go away, fly! Why did I high five the fly? Have you ever wanted to make a lemon pound cake? No? Then go away, you're at the wrong video. If you do, however, keep watching because so do I and we'll work it out together. Welcome to I Need a Hobby, episode two. Insert jingle that I haven't thought of here. Ta-da! This time I'm gonna try making a lemon pound cake that I found from food.com. This time round, I've actually got the proper measuring things. So, before we begin, as with everything, wash your handies. So, once you've washed your wonderful smooth hands and caressed them with soap, so you need half a cup of butter, 125 grams of butter. That is a hell of a lot of butter. So I've measured out 113 grams of butter, so who knows if this recipe will work, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to measure out a total of 125, because that's a hell of a lot. So once you've got it in the bowl, you want to move it into a smaller bowl. Right, so once you've dealt with the disruptive influence on me in the garden, you can continue. I put, I put them in the microwave for a bit. Okay, so once you've got your butter, you want to pour that one cup of sugar. Doopy doo, mixy mixy, mixy mixy mixy. Olé! So now I need to go get myself some eggs. Okay. Can I have an egg, please? Got my two eggs, beat the egg. Oh my god, I'm getting egg everywhere. Add the egg to the mix, and I mix. Okay, so that's that done. Oh my god, there's egg everywhere. Egg out, like there wasn't egg there at all, it's fine. A tablespoon, one tablespoon of lemon juice, which gives me over to my juicer. Where's the lemon gone? There's the lemon. We've got the lemon, pop it on there and you twist. Fly, that was a fly. So now, as you can see, we add in one tablespoon. My god, now there's lemon all over the table. Why am I getting everything on the table? No, I'm making it worse. And mix. I now need to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna do that as a couple of pinches because I don't really know how much a teaspoon is that I'm measuring with that. Mixy mixy, schmixy schmixy, ooby dooby doo. You need one and a half cups of flour. I'm making this as gluten free, so I need to use gluten free flour and Xanthan gum. Don't know what that is, but I need to add in flat one and a half cups of flour and uh, half a teaspoon of this xanthan gum. Not a clue what it does. One, two. Oh my god! Flour, go! Oh, yeah. One teaspoon of baking powder. That looks like a teaspoon. There you go. There's your teaspoon of baking powder. Let's half a cup of milk. I put in too much milk. It's just a little bit over, and again, if you're working in pints, that's about a quarter, a quarter of a pint. You pour that in, and I'm mixing. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is bung it in the oven at about 160 degrees Celsius. Before we put it in the oven, we need to put it into one of these holders. So one of you asked me how much this weighs. Ah, I got it all over myself. So this actually weighs around 739 grams, which is 1.629222 pounds. So it's not exactly a pound cake. This is sort of a Easy Lemon 1.62922 pound cake. My mother is calling me. Hello mother. Oh my god, it's hot. Ah, oh! Oh god. Oh god. I squished it and it's all lost shape. Okay, so I actually need to put it in two. Okay, now we put it in the oven. So we leave it in the oven for about an hour or until it turns sort of goldeny brownie. And I'll see you again when it comes out. Ooh, into the light. Ow. <coughs> hey, hey. So it's pretty much an hour after I put them in. And, well, let's just move all this out of the way. Here they are. They don't look half 
oh, hot-ish. What you're meant to have is you are meant to have a third of a cup of lemon juice. So now we also need a quarter of a cup of sugar. There we go. Yeah, there's no, there's no lemon left in that at all. So we put about a third of a cup of lemon juice and around about a quarter of a cup of sugar into a bowl and we sort of mix that together. And then we use a toothpick, but I didn't have a toothpick so I'm using a fork, to poke little holes every now and then around the cake, drizzle the lemon. I don't know how to drizzle, so I'm just gonna very carefully pour it. Okay, so I've, well, you're meant to drizzle, I've kind of poured, because it's me. Um, and then pretty much you're done. It says you serve warm or you serve cold. I would rather serve my food. Okay, so with the lemon now drizzled and the leftovers in the carcass of the dead lemon that I squeezed the soul out of, placed on top of the lovely new cake, I'm going to try a piece. So here we have the lovely cake. It looks kind of nice. It's edible. It tastes of a cake. And there's a little bit of lemon in there. I'm actually very happy with this. I'm gonna add this to my list of now two things that I can make and will probably make again, purely because I like the scones, slash scones, slash scones, and I now like my lemon cake. Anyway, that was, <coughs> this was also I Need a Hobby, episode two, featuring lemon cake. I shall see you the next time. I purge the kitchen and make a mess, baking something I've never made before.